everybody, my name is Koen Bultz from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it's that time of the week again. It's time for new arrivals and this week a lot of beauties have reached our store again. Um, a lot of trade-ins as well, uh, which always makes a different flavor and always makes it very exciting to choose new arrivals. So let's not wait too long and kick off with the first one. So the first one is not a trade-in, it's a brand new guitar and it's a beauty. It's this beautiful Taylor K24CE. So all Koa, best of the best ingredients, and yeah, they really know how to do it. And what's cool about these guitars is if you like these guitars, but you want to have slightly different, that's, that's, that's possible. And actually, Martin, Michael, here behind the camera, and Tom are heading to Taylor next week to select some um, customs. So if you want to have a custom guitar, then this is your chance. Shoot us an email and we can help you design your dream tailor. Next one up is uh, quite a rare one, especially here in Europe, you don't see them too often. And it's a Kevin Cup. And this model is the NL13. And Kevin Cup um, started out in 1992, I believe, at Gibson. And he worked his way up into the custom shop and then started the workshop for himself. And he really knows how to build guitars. He put that classic tone into this into his guitars and especially with this NL13 with the maple back and sides, the spruce top. It's that authentic dry blue stone that you want in a guitar. Beautiful hand stained sunburst on top as well as the back and sides. You can see that there's just, he put a lot of care into building this instrument. Next one up is quite a rare one, quite an interesting one, and quite a unique one. Uh, it's a Guild X500, and in itself it's not too rare, but it's an X500 from 2007. And the strange thing about this one is that it's made in US. And when we traded it in, I was looking and searching, I couldn't find a single other one. So we're still investigating a little bit, but I think this is some kind of prototype or tryout. Uh, if you have some more information on, on these Guild Arch Tops and, and you know more about it, please let me know because I'm, I'm really eager to learn about this. Um, overall, super condition. Of course, the maple back in size, beautiful spruce top, P90s here. Um, yeah, classic Guild. So if you're looking for a really nice full-sized hollow body guitar, uh, but you don't want to pay crazy amounts of money, and you want to have made it in the US, then this guild might be one for you. from National and it's this Thunderbox revolver and I really like this one. So it's a fairly small body, 14 fret, um, wooden body and of course the single cone. And because the body is slightly smaller you really get this Delta Blues feel. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I can tell about this guitar but I think you just need to listen to this sound and you'll be convinced if you're a Delta Blues player to check this one out. Last but not least, it's one that's always popular in our store and it's a trade-in. It's a few years old, this one is from 2010. 
plus 30 years already, time flies. Um, it's a D2H, classic Collings Dreadnought, Sitka spruce top, herringbone trim, Indian rosewood back and sides, an absolute killer tone. So this one is slightly drier and I really like it when they are a little bit drier because you really get that vintage Martin tone in them. But they are super strong at the same time, so they're, they're loud, they're dry and they just cut through every mix. Um, yeah, let's have a listen. That's it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. As always, let us know which one is your favorite. And uh, we hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Hoi.